Hey everybody, Derek here, and in this video we will be talking about how to use real VNC. So to start off, I have this virtual machine here, and this is going to be the VNC server. So the first thing I did was I installed the software and I got the server running, and you can go ahead and check the description to learn how to do that yourself, but once you've got it going, you want to go through and click on the open button and go to messages, click resolve, and then sign into your account. And if you don't sign into your account, it's just not possible to log in. And it's really annoying, but if you want to use the service, got to do it. And uh, once you sign into your actual account, you have to set in a local password and uh, click apply, enter the password, and uh, click done. Now the VNC license is now working and we can see that connectivity is okay. We can minimize the server and uh, we can get our viewer open and launch the viewer. So for some reason it says it's not listening for connections and I find that weird. So it turns out there are two duplicate servers. I must have forgot to change the host name, but regardless, the first time you connect you'll be asked for an identity check. Just click the continue button, enter that password that you set up earlier, click OK. And here we have the VNC server that we just set up over here. I can manipulate this and do whatever I want to do with it. I can close this if I'd like. I can open up a web browser. It works as if I was there. And it's a really, really straightforward and useful VNC setup. Uh, definitely a turnkey solution, I guess you could say, if you don't want to deal with the tediousness of setting up other VNC servers. Anyways, guys, uh, just a quick little guide on how to get real VNC working, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>